Hey guys, so I'm headed to my appointment right now to get checked out and it's stupid far because they didn't have any openings anywhere nearby so I'm having to drive an hour away. I'm frustrated on a couple levels. Frustrated because I have my actual appointment on Thursday that, that I probably could have held off for but but everyone we blah, but everyone was telling me I needed to go like right right away. Also I didn't want to be irresponsible by not going if they're actually becoming an issue and I didn't catch it soon enough. Because UTIs with pregnancies, you need to catch right away or it's best to catch right away because you can become pretty ill from it. I'm frustrated because I'm not having any symptoms anymore. There's no blood in my urine, there's no pain, there's no symptoms other than I do feel run down. But again, that could be a symptom of pregnancy. That's why a lot of times pregnant women, if they don't detect that they have it because you just associate a lot of the symptoms with being pregnant. Anyways, my whole point is I just don't want to you know, be too late and not be able to detect it. I'm frustrated because I tried asking if I could just move my 32 week appointment to today to get it over with, but that way I could, you know, stop the exposure to Corona as much as possible. Cause having to go to a doctor's office, no matter what the doctor's office is, sucks. I'm definitely gonna be late to this appointment. So that's really good. That's great. We ordered our dishwasher at first, for some reason, when we first start, went to like go order it, said it wasn't gonna be to us until like mid April. And we're both like, oh, that sucks so bad. We waited like an hour and all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, you'll have it by next week. So <laughs> we are officially postponing the baby sprinkle. There's just so many reasons as to why. I just feel it'd be really irresponsible to have it. I don't want people to be uncomfortable. I don't want to spend a bunch of money on food and a lot of people be nervous to eat it because a lot of people are getting nervous about prepared food. But we just decided that it would be very best. I don't have a UTI, which is a good thing. They sent my stuff out from her testing. I'm just hoping everything else is okay because now it makes me nervous that maybe it did go to my kidneys or it did go somewhere more scary. I don't think that's where we're at, but there's always that chance. They verified for me that she is a girl <laughs> and that everything came back normal as far as the testing goes. He, he was like, uh, did they not call and tell you? I was like, I was like, they did. I just wanted <laughs> to verify with you. She's measuring 100% on schedule and um, she is head down, which I could tell because she had hiccups the other night and I could feel them. He's like, yep, she's right on track. She is head down um, and oh, that's crazy. Her heart rate was perfect. So that's so good. Also, I don't have to go on Thursday, which was awesome. I knew the girl on the phone when she was like being a total like idiot when she was like, yeah, they're not gonna do that. I was thinking, yeah, I think they probably will because it's Corona crap and this doctor's just awesome. He's like, I'm not gonna have you come back. <laughs> He's like, we're just gonna do this now. We are getting so close to the end of this. I'm freaking out a little bit. We are not really prepared and I don't mean to laugh about it, but like, it's kind of scary, like we're just not really prepared, but really in reality, we're prepared for what she needs now. I think a lot of people stress out about the nursery and they want to see photos of the nursery. And if you don't have your nursery together, then you just don't have anything together. And it's like, we have what we need. We have the essentials, we have everything that we need. Hello guys, today is Tuesday. I finally feel good again today. I was really under the weather all weekend. So I'm finally feeling better and I want to use this time that we're all like quarantined and that we're all staying home. I really want to use this time wisely to make sure that I am pumping out videos because I want to be able to get this content out there to you guys and this is the best time to do it. There's a lot of noise going on around me so hopefully I can still do this without getting copyright. A lot of my videos that are like 10 years old are getting copywritten, so I'm like, great. I don't think they're huge videos, so I really could care less. I really wanna use this time wisely. I am finally feeling better. Today's the first day that I haven't felt under the weather. I think it's cause I'm not in my head. I'm staying off of social media and the media in general because I feel like just hearing about the coronavirus makes you feel like you're just ill. Like you just assume everybody's ill, the whole world is just a big walking germ, and I don't want that mindset. Um, and I wanna be cautious, but I'm always that way. This is isn't anything new for me. Washing my hands, staying clean, showering when I get home, like that's all my normal life. I just wanna be away from all of that. I don't wanna hear about it. I don't wanna like deal with it. I just want to focus on positivity. Oh, it's kind of interesting that so many people are now living the same lifestyle that I live. Like they're home, they're with their kids, they're working from home, and a lot of people are learning about that. I feel like this will also put a big shift in things for a lot of businesses. It will show businesses that a lot of people can work remotely, 
but I hope that's something that only happens for those who want to do it that way because not everyone wants to work from home and trust me it's not for everyone yeah we're just hanging out little man did catch a cold we weren't quite sure because it was like slowly coming on like he just would have a little bit of nasal drip and um, now like he really is having a lot of issues so pretty much every like 15 to 20 minutes I'm blowing his nose I'm sucking his nose with the nose Frida and I'm just trying to keep the mucus out of his system and get it out as soon as possible so that he can start feeling better so I've been really diligent on making sure that he's staying clean I'm keeping myself clean I'm feeling so good today mm -hmm. and I'm feeling pretty hopeful that everything is okay I think you know I let like people tell me like oh my gosh when you were contracting like it's such a big deal and I let a lot of people like scare me but I think it's just because they don't understand what was going on in my body and I need to remember that I'm the one who knows and I'm the only one who knows and that if I'm not panicking I need to focus on how I'm feeling about things so I'm no longer like I've been like afraid that something was wrong with me and I was a little frustrated leaving the doctor yesterday thinking like well how come he didn't have an answer for me what like what is wrong what happened and he didn't really go into detail on to what could have happened just one of those things I really think dehydration is really what the root cause was so I've been staying nice and hydrated I am diffusing some tea tree oil it seems to be helping both of us because even I was feeling a little bit blue but like Bobby, you miss Bella. I really think that it's also helped him too because I feel like it's kept him staying like dripping to where it's not like collecting because that's when it becomes an issue is when they get really congested and it collects in them. But this is seems to be keeping it like just dripping and coming out. My nails, <laughs> I guess I broke a nail. I didn't even notice that I did at any point. This one fell off. When I went to the doctors yesterday, it was it's right next to a hospital and there is so much stuff going on like that's just so crazy, but like a lot of precautions that are being taken, which is really good. And this is just a, a totally crazy, weird world that we live in. So I am going to probably get him some lunch soon. He's been napping much later in the day than he used to, which is fine. Um, I'm just kind of monitoring him and seeing when he's sleepy. He seems to be getting almost there now. So I'll probably be giving him lunch soon and just kind of monitor to see when he's tired. Um, but the later in the day naps are fine. They seem to work okay because like I said most of my energy is really good this time of day and then the second half of the day it's like zero. I like the schedule that he's on now and he seems to be like thriving in it. I'm going to I guess just crank out a bunch of vlogs as much as I can. I do get into like a rut because like I'm so tired of watching footage that's so old. For a lot of people I can understand the quarantine and isolation has really become like a kind of a scary or it's been like a hard adjustment for a lot of people. For me Obviously everything is pretty normal. My husband, he doesn't get to work from home. He will always have to work out and about. So really our lifestyle will not change because of the isolation other than um, just being really precautious with him because he's the one who's gonna be leaving the house the most. And so we just gotta make sure that he is taken care of and that he keeps himself clean. So nap time is underway. I'm staying hopeful. I noticed earlier, which was really bad. I started getting a lot of anxiety earlier just being on social media. I just was reading what everyone was posting and just like digesting everything and it made it worse and then I saw my son he seemed like he was like he seemed like he was getting worse and I was like oh my gosh like he started getting warm and he just started seeming like he was about to come down with a fever thankfully it was just because I think at that time he was getting tired and I should have got him down so I started stressing out over that I was like oh no I really don't want him having a fever right now I started freaking out but I will be completely honest I am not an essential oil kind of girl you guys know that but I think just having the diffuser alone helped because just putting that moisture in the air i think kept his nasal cavity just everything just like was open so i was able to get him to blow his nose a ton i use the nose frida a ton i don't know if it's the essential oils that i put in there that helped but the diffuser definitely helped and it helped me too it made me feel really good but then i had like a really bad moment i started feeling really really weak really lightheaded um just almost dizzy and not very good um but it was because i didn't eat anything as soon as i ate i was fine and these are like the symptoms that i completely forgot with my son because most of my pregnancy was so amazing i forgot about these symptoms that are like a little more scary i made it through and we're good <sighs> this has like been the theme of my vlogs for months now just breakdowns just like emotional and mental breakdowns sharing these things i feel is I mean, obviously it's something that helps me, but I feel like being able to connect with you guys about these things, I, I'm getting to a point where I don't wanna be on social media anymore. And 
it's like I want to deliver content, but it's like I don't want to read or watch anyone else's. Um, it's gotten to a point, obviously, I feel like a lot of people would benefit from checking out of social media for a little bit because I feel like the anxiety and the panic is really setting in and I feel like it's just gonna get bigger in a way of just just people being anxious and the anxiety that people get and I feel like social media is a huge part of that right now because it's, it's causing me a lot of anxiety a lot of panic and it's social media it's just media in general is just causing so much discomfort and I was on earlier and saw someone post something that shook me but I was able to kind of shake it away um you know just basically she basically was just acting like the end is near and just was going on about that and you know granted the time could be but we don't know that and I just don't feel that it's responsible or it's okay for us as humans to just sit there and just blow that out everywhere and to constantly say the end is near and all of this like we don't know when that is. I don't know, is it right to make other people feel scared and more anxious than we already do? Um, it's just scary overall, and I just don't like that people are just using their platforms to say stuff like that. And there's that, there's just so many people just giving so much false information and not giving the proper information. And that's what's really instilling fear, and it makes me mad that people are doing that. You know, tonight I just saw a photo of um, this mom, she actually is in Florida, her son, um, which they caught when she was pregnant, which is great. She had this time to prepare. I don't think you ever have enough time to prepare for this, but she had time to, um, you know, just prepare her heart with the um, thought that her baby would have to go through surgery when he was born and be um, in the NICU and be in, you know, with intensive care for months, the, the first months of his life. And that pain alone, I feel is more than enough and then we add corona and her daughter can't be here her daughter had to leave and go home and i'm just feeling so much pain and i get angry i get so angry when i see these babies just attached to machines and all the different things that these babies go through and these kids go through it just like it just makes me angry i have such a hard time swallowing stuff like this i just i do i have such a hard time with these things when you become a parent everything changes everything that you think you would be strong about you just you learn a love that you've never known and that nothing can prepare you for and it's hard to see all these stories and not put yourself in that position and just feel that pain for those parents i was just way more optimistic but now that people just keep feeding all this information and just keep saying these things like now it's just like how can i be so positive when like all you see on social media right now is just people either posting memes or just like either making fun of the coronavirus or they are not taking it serious and then some people who are taking it too serious there's not a lot of in between and then there's people who are complaining because some people are trying to still post about positivity and then you know people complaining that people all right, pussy positivity. You can't win, you can't please everyone and I, that's fine. I swear this is literally the theme of my channel lately and I promise it'll go away, but just look at 2020 so far. 2020 has been rough. This year has brought a lot of fear and anxiety and, and stress and just the unknown and just so many different feelings lately that, I don't know. So ever since my issue with my contractions on friday my husband has been taking over my routine that i usually do with my son at nighttime and he's been putting him in the bed and my son every single night has cried i think one night he didn't but other nights like two or three nights in a row cried for me and i was in there i was with him and i was still doing everything i just wasn't doing every little step and he cried his eyes out so it just shows like he loves his routine which makes me a little bit nervous after I deliver you know I'm not gonna be able to bend and put him down and, and do a lot of the things that you know I'm doing now so maybe we do need to work on a transition of letting my husband do it but just broke my heart the last couple of nights like he was crying for me and just reaching out for me and it would break me because bedtime has always been just such like a happy time it's always smiles like we've never had issues with bedtime and it's always just been like literally smiles and him just really enjoying you know our little routine but i just hope that everyone is safe during this time and 
take precautions and just stay clean and just stay sanitary and just try to um if it's the thing that's getting me is that if you're not afraid of the virus that's good if you're not worried about it it doesn't phase you that's great however it does scare and it does put other people at risk so if you are out and about catching it um not caring not washing your hands not you know lysoling things or not but sanitizing things um you're putting other people at risk you are infecting people and it's no wonder that flus are just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger and more widespread i mean they're just they're multiplying because people aren't responsible people are very selfish and it's always made me mad if you're sick stay home don't spread it don't go to playgrounds don't go to play sets don't go places that other people go just keep a distance it's not hard to do that i don't know i just don't see why it's so hard for people to just stay clean but Moving on, I hear him, he is finishing up his shower, so I'm gonna go ahead and get in and then we're gonna relax and then um, I guess we'll talk with you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.